YouTube. It's one of those things that many people get wrong. Many people get impatient. Many people like to look at others and go for the sprint. I'm here to tell you that YouTube's a marathon and not a sprint. Whilst I'm walking along my local canal. This has become one of my favourite things in the morning. I drop off my wonderful stepdaughter and she goes off to nursery and then in the process I gain like an hour and a half, two hours where the world's not fully awake. They're off to work but because I work from home I kind of get this weird buffer zone where everyone's manic and focused on their own world and I've got the canal. <laughs> Which means you might get a few more of these because this is my little mini marathon every morning going for a stroll, whilst your marathon should be the one that's on YouTube. Now so many people look at YouTube and see the established YouTube stars and they're like, well they're making that content and how, how can they make that content and still survive? How comes they, with that type of quality of content, is the top person? Let's have a look at PewDiePie for example. His content nowadays isn't hugely high production, it never has been, let's be honest, but he has now close to 100 million subscribers. And people look at him and go, well, he started off by screaming at a camera and now he's got millions of views. If he can do it, I can do it. I could do that better. I can do that in a week. People don't consider the hard work that it takes to get to where he was in the first place. This is the whole marathon versus sprint idea. Basically, he's been on YouTube for, I don't know, 10 years and in the process has amassed 100 million subscribers. I started this journey a long time ago, just not necessarily directly on YouTube. I initially started in the industry when I was a web developer for a web development company and within that time I learned how to create titles, write blogs, optimise websites, sort out search engine optimization. When I first started this channel I was so, so happy if one video got 40 views within their first month, within their first week. I was so happy if I gained 10 subscribers the first month. That should be how it is. It makes you understand and appreciate every view. Now come on, let's be honest, there's going to be very few of us that ever pop, there's going to be very few of us that ever explode and grow, that make this a full-time thing, but there are ways that you can help yourself. I have around about 300 videos on this channel. Out of those 300, some of them do well, some of them do not. <laughs> now the advantage is, is that if you have that back catalogue you can bolster yourself. You can create enough content that you become searchable. You create enough content that people will find you in time. It's kind of like brute forcing it. Now over the last 20 months I've gone from getting 10, 20, 30, 40 views a week to getting two, 3,000 views per day and the back catalogue helps with that. People will find you people will enjoy one of your videos and they'll go and binge watch the rest of your content. But 300 videos doesn't happen overnight. 300 videos is time, effort, dedication and understanding your niche or what you want to talk about, what your audience is looking for. It has taken me months and months on end to get to a point where last month I gained an extra 700-800 subscribers and the month before that 600, 400, 200. For ages I was struggling at around about 10 a month, but it's because of this commitment, because of these videos, because of this back catalogue that it snowballs. It is the running the marathon of YouTube that helps you grow. You're not going to go from one to a thousand subscribers in a day, no matter what charlatans say on the internet. Now that being said, I may be growing at 700 odd subscribers a month at the moment. I may have gained 2,000 subscribers in the last three months, but I'm still seen as a small YouTuber. I don't have tens of thousands of subscribers. I don't have a silver play button just yet. You may have a few hundred subscribers and you may be looking at me and thinking, well, you know, Alan's got five, six thousand subscribers. He's a big YouTuber. You may be looking at me and thinking, well, Alan went full time on YouTube with 3,000 subscribers. He even made a video about it, but I'm not the typical YouTuber. I have a business that runs alongside YouTube consulting people. I sell products and services. I sell my time and the 11 years that I was in web development before now act as my income. Not as a web developer, as a consultant, as an SEO expert, as a video creator, as a YouTube consultant that continues to grow and proves he can grow. So even in my shoes right now, I'm still running the marathon. 
So you may have 100 subscribers, and I may have 6,000 subscribers, but the marathon is still there to be run. I'm not sprinting my way to success, the success that you were looking at from the big YouTubers like PewDiePie who does crappy videos nowadays, or whatever. If you're starting on YouTube right now, I honestly, truly suggest you have a five-year plan in mind. Where do you want to be in five years time? What do you need to do to get to it? Work your way back from that. So in five years time, you might want to have a thousand videos, you want to be getting X amount of views, and maybe a subscriber count. Now, you have a look at the things that you can control in that situation. You can control how many videos you've made, right? Within that five year period. You can't necessarily control how many people choose to subscribe to you, but you can control how well your videos are. You can control if you're getting better or tweaking them or if you're dialing into your niche. Sort out the five year plan and the views and subscribers will follow. And most importantly, never give up. At the end of the day, if you are running this marathon, if you run two, five, seven, 14, 20 odd miles of this marathon, why would you give up before you hit the end of the race? Never give up. So many people, so many more talented people than me have created YouTube channels and I've seen them come and go and I miss those people. They may be part of the old movie club, they may be part of their own little YouTube bubble, but they've come and they've gone and they've disappeared and they gave up too soon. It's time for you to go with the flow and maybe go for a walk on your local canal because you never know how beautiful the life is around you. These hidden gems could be just around your corner.